What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So this is your stimulus check update for August the 6th. We're gonna get into some really good news. Um, I see it as good news, but then you could also look at some portions and say that it's bad news because you know we should have had deals done, everything finalized months ago. You know, when people first established that we need more money for stimulus, especially stimulus checks and unemployment, um, the main pieces. Um, but we'll get into all this detail and all of the good news that we have um, in this article. Now, before I start, make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Hit that notification bell so that you're always aware when I post another video. Also, uh, make sure you get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. All you have to do is deposit $100 after you sign up and you'll get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. Also get your free stock with Robinhood and all you have to do for that is just sign up, link your bank account and you'll get a free stock, no money involved. So go ahead and check those two things out. Make sure you use my links down below. But stimulus checks, stimulus packages, um, the whole deal, the whole entire negotiations that are going on, obviously you've seen my negativity in most cases, but um, this is kind of positive news. So let's look at this as we start to get towards Friday because today's Thursday. So. Let's see exactly what's going on with uh, stimulus checks negotiations. So um, yesterday, um, I actually seen a video that I wanted to talk about, and maybe I'll, I'll bring that up in a later video if I post another video. But um, it was Nancy Pelosi basically um, giving a press conference and talking about stimulus deals, talking about the negotiations, and talking about the fact that they wanted one big deal, one big bill, rather than getting the... Uh, smaller piecemeal bills to where the White House is looking to extend unemployment or you know they're looking to pass these stimulus checks as a separate bill. Um, that's something that they don't want to have happen. They want the whole entire bill to be in place and then get that passed and then we can go from there. So it, it's kind of showing as we went along with negotiations how disconnected the two sides are and um, one side wants something, the other side doesn't want that side to have that something. So it's kind of interesting to see that. Um, but the article that I'm, I'm reading talks about the fact that agreement expected Friday. So the agreement is expected tomorrow, but the final bill is not going to be expected till the week after that. So it's good news that we would have the agreement tomorrow. Um, and that's what they're stating. I don't know if it will be that it's expected tomorrow. Now, senior Democrats and Republicans are due to return to the negotiation table Thursday in a fresh attempt to hammer out a deal over the new stimulus package. Um, basically, through that stimulus package, um, what people care about are the stimulus checks and really the unemployment. Obviously, you get into more of the detail with uh, liability protection, state and local government funding, school funding, things like that. Um, there are areas where we agree um, that we need these uh, things, but it all depends how much of funding will go to um, those areas. Um, extensions to the unemployment um, expired on July 31st. So right now people are not getting money um, when it comes to them not working and so many people are unemployed. Both Democrats and Republicans are eager to push the legislation through before the Senate is scheduled to go into recess on August 7th. Now, um, this is where I kind of think I'm just like, all right, well, the House is supposed to forego recess if this does, if they don't reach a deal, right? The Senate still plans to take their recess from what I understand. Now, I, I don't know if they are going to basically take these meetings as they go along, but um, hopefully we get a deal done. It doesn't look like we're close. That's the only thing is I don't see any common ground really besides the fact that they agree that we need this stuff. So, um I like the fact that they're optimistic, basically saying that we're going to get a deal done by August 7th, but or we're expected to get a deal done by August 7th. But like I said, I don't see any common ground. So maybe they're hiding all this and they actually have common ground. But um, from what I understand, I haven't seen any type of positivity there. The only positivity is that they're expected to get it done by the August 7th. After more than a week of talks and few signs of progress, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, House of Representative Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer were said to be aiming for a deal that could be passed by Congress next week. So like I said, they would put everything together Friday by Friday and then the deal would be passed 
next week, sometime next, sometime next week. Um, President Trump stood ready to use executive orders to address issues such as unemployment benefits and protections against evictions if talks failed, according to Meadows, which is always a good thing um, to have those executive orders in place. The only thing is that it's really standing in the way of what the Democrats want to do. So if the Democrats are basically saying we don't want this piecemeal bill, but then you have the executive order that kind of pushes that along, then um, that's kind of going against what they actually want here. And then you're going to have that piecemeal bill, whether you like it or not. So I don't know if that's the option they're going with, because it seems like they really want to piecemeal this together, get the most important pieces out, and then all of the other pieces they want to iron out separately. Mitch McConnell said in a tweet, Republicans tried several ways to extend unemployment benefits. Democrats blocked them all. They refused any more COVID relief for anyone unless they get a massive tax cut for the rich people in blue states. Um, now, I, I don't see this. I mean, I, I don't see that because I, I definitely see them moving towards more state and local governments, which they want to bail out a lot of the states that had problems with their budget before the pandemic and now they're in massive trouble when it comes to financial situations so they're trying to bail them out a little bit bail out the states and i believe that republicans do not want to do that and from what i see everywhere else i haven't seen a massive uh tax cut for the rich that doesn't make sense any tax cut for the businesses would have been tax cuts for the rich but um it's more towards the people from what i understand so uh we can we can look at that a little bit harder. Um, I know the Heroes Act had a lot in it, so maybe that was the case. Maybe they're trying to really push something. But um, I focus on the more important pieces for people. We are trying to get a deal that's good for the American public and American workers, Mnuchin told reporters after nearly two hours of talks on Wednesday. If we can't reach an agreement on the major issues, it's going to be hard to complete a deal. And this is what made me feel... Um, negative towards the whole situation if we were going to actually reach a deal on august 7th if they can't basically reach an agreement on major issues which i think a lot of them are major issues but then when you look at the everything that anyone wants it, it doesn't we don't have anything on the table we have nothing on the table basically saying this is confirmed this is going to be on the bill at this price we have nothing on there we have things that are saying we agree stimulus checks we agree unemployment we agree areas like i and we don't have an actual number or dollar figure for those things. He also goes on to say the times table relates to the progress we make. So we really have this day, we have Thursday and we have Friday to hammer out some sort of deal and get some common ground there. And then we can actually make some sort of progress. So um, looking at this whole situation, it's good news. I mean, it's good news that they're um, feeling like they're going to get things done by August 7th, by tomorrow. So definitely check back with me to see if they do get something done. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm trying to understand the positive sides of things. But you all know me, anybody that's been watching me for quite some time, I try to speak the truth. And if there is negative news, I'm going to tell you the negative news. But this is positive news. It's, it's good that they are confirming, I guess, that it's going to, they're going to reach a deal August 7th. Now, um, now, like I said, it will not be finalized, so we'll see exactly what's going to happen. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Comment down below if you think we're going to get some, we're going to gain some type of common ground by August seventh. I really don't know what will happen next week because I haven't heard that uh, the Senate will forego recess. Maybe I'm a little behind the times there, not hearing this information. So, um, hopefully, uh, they do because I don't know if they're going to get a deal by August 7th. So that's my video, guys. That's my update for today. Um, good news, really good news. So um, make sure you stay positive throughout the day. Don't end up like me and always look at the negative side more than the positive side. Make sure you look at the positive side. It's good news. But that's my video. Make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Also hit that little notification bell. Helps me out so much. You'll um, basically get notified that I post a video. And then you can click on that video. That's pretty good, right? Also, get your two free stocks down below with Weeble. All you have to do is deposit $100 after you sign up, and you'll get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. Um, so go ahead and do that. It's free money. And if you can get $1,400, there's your stimulus check right there. Also, 
Robinhood, make sure you check out my Robinhood link down below. All you have to do is sign up and link your bank account. No money involved and you can get a free stock. So uh, make sure you use my, my code down below, my link down below and um, get a free stock. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you go over there and check out my podcast channel and my gaming channel as well. I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff on there. It's, it's so much fun. Um, I played some games last night, so if you want to ask me some stimulus news and you want to ask me some, some type of information, um, we can definitely talk about it. Um, it's going to be really fun, so definitely go over there and subscribe. TP, TPE Gaming, I believe. It's supposed to stand for the Perry Experience Gaming, so go over there and check that out. Um, we'll see how that runs, and um, yeah, but I'm going to have to get out of here, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>